I think this is my side, isn't it? <laughs> I can't believe what, I'm... What side do you, do you prefer? You I'm normally, like, no. I think this is my side. It's the other one, because this is my side, and when we post together, you're on the other Am one. I on this side? Okay, so you want to go there? Actually? It's not really bad moving you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is so nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 I'm going to tell you a little thing. This song has been stuck in my head ever since you released it. And I think I actually broke it on Spotify because I was playing it so much. That was my whole point. <laughs> oh my God. It's, I'm going to try and say this how it should be said. Lazada. It's perfect. Is that okay? Yes, Lazada. Yeah. How are you doing? You look like sensational. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm doing great. And you? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm enjoying Madrid and like the sunshine is out, which is very important for someone from the UK. Do yeah. we don't get a lot? I, I get you because I'm from Montreal and right now it's uh, the catastrophe. Cold. So oh. cold, so cold, yeah. But um, uh, when did you arrive? Was it today? No, I live in France since like November, but I arrive in Madrid. Uh, not in Madrid? Oh, sorry. <laughs> today. And so you've not been able to do any exploring? No, I did not. But I think I'm going to stay uh, uh, um, a day, you know, after like Monday, and I'm gonna see the the city. Yeah, and this is your first Eurovision pre-party event, yes. right? Yes. How are you feeling about performing tomorrow? I feel great. I feel great. That's my job. I need to do it. <laughs> well, we we can't wait to see you perform because the reaction to your song when yeah. you released it, yeah. there was actually a lot of hype before it was released. So people had these kind of great expectations, okay. very excited that you've been announced as the artist. Okay. And the song came out, and it's like, wow. Did you? Like, are you one of those artists that you don't you don't read the reactions? You stay away from them, or do you like to see what people are thinking of the song? Yeah, I don't I don't read it right away. I wait like a couple of weeks to see to really see like how the public loved it. But yeah, I don't stress about it. Every time I release a song, I just I don't want to think about it. I prefer that. What was it like when you saw these reactions? Though? I was happy and and I was surprised that like not just in France but like everywhere in Europe, like people who don't. Yeah, who understand maybe a little bit of French word, but who got, uh, who felt the emotion of the song. So we connected through that. So I'm really happy. Is for me when I heard it, it's, there's like a there's like a real historical French vibe to the song in the yeah. beginning. You obviously come in with this amazing voice. Then we get like this disco vibe, yeah. which kind of takes me to like the 70s, 80s. Yeah. Um, and I have to ask about one particular line in the song that I've been asking my French friends about, and I was really wanting you to explain. You know what I'm going to ask. What? It's about when you say uh, la chante la grande France. So yes. in English it translates as I, I sing the, the big uh, France. Yeah, did I did it right? It's like I said to people, are you happy now that I sing right? The grand France. Ah, okay. That and I came up for, for the, all the expectation of the people. So it was like a little, I love to people. <laughs> and what was the response? Yes? Yes, <laughs> I hope so. Some people say no, but did you only have some no people. Oh, we, must, <laughs> we, we don't listen to those people that say no. But you've already had this amazing career. I want to know, when did you first find out, when were you approached about doing Eurovision? How did that all come about? How long did you have to keep it a secret? And are you good at keeping secrets? Yeah, for months. Like, they came uh, at the end of the summer, <laughs> and they, uh, they contacted me, and... Uh, yeah, we had a dinner, she explained everything because, you know, I, I knew about Eurovision, but I didn't know it was that big and I, I didn't know if I can, I don't want to risk, you know, it's a, it's a country, to represent a country, I don't want to lose, you know, so I want to be sure to, to be able to, to do it and uh, yeah, yeah, so I accepted it because they, they, they talked about Eurovision with so much passion and I saw that the French delegation was ready to do like everything, so I'm like, okay, let's go. Let's the, try this. the thing is, one thing I always say to artists is you're going to be like one of a very short list of people that have represented France at Eurovision. I mean, they've done it, what, like for 60 years. So you're one of 60 artists yeah. in like the whole of France, the whole yeah. of Quebec that's represented. France. And that's an amazing achievement in itself. It will always be with you, whether you like it or not, really. Yeah, I realise that. it's uh, My name is, is in history now, so... Yeah, really well, that's what we like. That's what we like. <laughs> and hopefully with an amazing result. Uh, in May as well. We can't wait to see what you're going to do with the steak. We know it's going to be very chic and very classy and very edgy as well, we're hoping. Yeah, I always have a, a little twist every time. So no, that's, that's my signature. Like. That's what we like, a little twist, a little twist. <laughs> um, have you got, because there is a lot of support out there for you, have, got, have you got a message for our viewers, for your fans, everyone that's loving your song? I have a lot of, lot of message. Sometimes I try to answer because 
it touched me like that people take time to write me those beautiful words. So now I'm going to say thank you to everybody. I'm really touched and I read almost everything and sometimes I'm in my bed I cry, and I cry. I'm like, oh, too much love. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very precious. I just love how humble. <laughs> I lo you're not a diva at all, are you? Just very humble. I am a diva. What are you saying? <laughs> well, I have a favour to ask. I need you to tell. I need to become like the male version of Lazada. Yeah. So you need to start. We need to go shopping. You need to star me. I need. I need okay, like a Lazada. So look. I need to make you a hat, a Lazada hat. We're gonna we're gonna put some glue. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I haven't got any hair, so yeah, we're, we're, gonna we're literally going to have to like stick it on. We're going to put some glue on his head. Maybe with a little bit of green as well for oh, you Euro. Love green? Wow, yeah. it's, like, it's like our brand colour. Okay, I love green. Can we do green? It's my favourite colour. There we go, there we go. You know where it's at. Anyway, Lazada, you've got so many more people to speak to. Um, we know you're working really hard today. Thank you so much. I'm so, like, I've been waiting to meet you for so long and absolutely freaking love your song. So. Thank, you. Thank you. You're amazing. And um, we will see you. We'll see you. In, that's when we'll go shopping, London. Yes. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.